for by the turbulence. <laughs> thank you, Ross. I mean to thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you here to the official opening of the Etihad Airways. Outstanding first and business class lounge at the Los Angeles International Airport. What an airport. I'm pleased that the Senior Vice President of Corporate International Affairs, Harab al Mahari, is with me. Also our Senior Vice President of the Americans, Martin Drew. But more importantly, we're pleased to have here our most important partner from Los Angeles World Airports, and that's Deborah Flint, the Chief Executive Officer. And thank you, Deborah, for joining us here this morning. Just over two years ago, Los Angeles became our fourth US destination. And since then, we've flown over a quarter of a million guests. We don't carry passengers, we carry guests to this wonderful city. And it's a pleasure to really lock in our commitment to the city with the opening of this lounge. As you know, we are the national airline of the United Arab Emirates. We fly from our home, Abu Dhabi. This year marked, moving into this year, our fifth year of record profit. We're a young airline, we fly over. 600 passenger and cargo destinations worldwide, and we also invest in other airlines, over 49 coach share relationships, and invest in airlines such as Alitalia and Air Berlin, who will also be using this lounge. And in such a short time, we've become known as one of the leading airlines in the world in regard to safety, operational excellence, but as importantly, service excellence. We don't intend to be the world's largest carrier, but we intend to be a carrier that is best in class. And, and this product and this service is all about the brand. It's about the theme. It's about how we reimagine flying experience. And why do we invest? Well, it's about segmentation. It's about elasticity in regard to pricing. It's about premium passengers. It's about how we earn more money. And this lounge follows on from our recent opening of a outstanding lounge in New York at JFK. We also have a lounge in Washington, D.C. and complements our network, which also covers Chicago and Dallas, Fort Worth and San Francisco. The U.S. is a major part of our operation. We're very proud that we're able to work with our other airline partners, such as American Airlines, over our U.S. gateways and also JetBlue. We're also very pleased to invest in a whole range of sponsorship activities from the New York City Football Club to sponsoring MLS here in the US, working with the United Arab Emirates Embassy in a huge community soccer program throughout the US. And most recently we announced that we are a sponsor of Fashion Week, including the Fashion Week here in the US. Now, the role of the CEO is to uh, arrive as part of the program to welcome all of you. But I'm not the guy that's done all the hard work. That's been others. And uh, where's Callum? Callum, where are you? So Callum over here is hiding behind the bar, not because he likes hiding behind bars. <laughs> but he's a guy that actually has been responsible for driving the innovation, making sure that we get the right covers within the lounge, looking at the product, looking at the service specification, looking at the bar, looking at the ambience to ensure that it does fit our standards worldwide. And not because I'm an Australian that I invest in the right bar, but making sure that we do give that ambience to our guests is fundamental. So today is our way of continuing the journey in service and entrepreneurial excellence I was just saying to Deborah, one of the great things about the uh, Los Angeles service is that we have the US Customs Clearance in Abu Dhabi. And that's been a uh, major benefit for that link between the US and in fact Abu Dhabi and beyond. We have an outstanding team of US Customs officials based in Abu Dhabi. It is US sovereign territory and the opportunity for people from the UAE, from the Middle East, from the Indian subcontinent to clear customs in Abu Dhabi and walk through as a domestic customer has certainly been key in the strong seat factor and performance we see in our route, quite frankly, into Los Angeles. So from our friends from US Customs Clearance, um, from the CBB, they're, they're, we're great fans and great supporters and, and thank you. 
for your support. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's lovely to have you here with us. Take all the time you can to walk around. Callum's here. Where's Marigold? Marigold? Marigold, come over, don't be shy. Marigold's the manager again. You know, if you have any issues, any problems, call Marigold. Any good news, send a note to me. She's here, keen to make sure it works, works extremely well. So once again, thank you for your time, your courtesy. Thank you so very much. As I stand here and look upon you all today, this is a wonderful moment for Los Angeles World Air Force. The people in this room and all the team members that are not in this room but are represented today worked together and came together to create one of the most beautiful spaces here at LAX. And this is a wonderful occasion by which we can celebrate this. Uh, on behalf of Mayor Eric Garcetti, our Board of Airport Commissioners, and my team at Los Angeles World Airports, thank you for being here today. Thank you, James, for the celebration. Thank you for choosing LA as the first West Coast airport to have Etihad's premium lounge. Since 2014, over 260,000 guests have flown on Etihad out of LAX. What a tremendous way for us to bridge this world on a carrier that is known and renowned for its level of premium service. For LAX, our future is also about elevating our service. We are in the midst of a $14 billion capital program to modernize LAX, to return all aspects of your experience to being that that LAX was known for in the past, the iconic airport that symbolized the jet age. And we are returning to that. We know that for that to happen, you all needed to get into the airport a little bit faster than you probably experienced this morning or last night. Uh, we recognize that in improving the landside travel commensurate with the wonderful terminal facilities that we now enjoy, having uh, modernized almost every terminal here at LAX, is part of our future. And as we build the airport of the future, connecting to rail, connecting to the metro system that serves all of Southern California, we are very excited about LAX of the future. Throughout the airport, the dining and the shopping uh, choices, our services and amenities all reflect a uniquely Los Angeles experience. And our next terminal will be the Midfield Satellite Concourse, which we will open in the year 2019 further adding to the experience of LAX, and we're quite excited about that. This today is again a testament to the partnership with Etihad, to the experience that they know is important for the Los Angeles customers to experience here, and we are greatly appreciative of this celebration and moment in time to celebrate this now. Thank you. Okay. So Two, three. Fantastic. Thank Harry, you. Make sure we hand them back. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>